So I said this morning when I woke up, I was anxious to get here, and I thought the Responsible Gaming Summit 2015 was wrong spelt. It's more of a Responsible Gaming Summer. Uh, so let's enjoy summer together today and then to what I have planned to say and uh, it's a lot of familiar faces here uh, but it's also a lot of new ones and uh, it's a pleasure to see you all here in Alandica and just to brag a little bit this house is also built by money from Puff uh, that was the only bragging today from my side and um, as you know, this is the second Responsible Gaming Summit that Puff arranged. And the reason we decided three years ago to start arranging these kinds of summits was that there was no one. No summits focusing on online gambling responsibility. So that's why we decided to bring it to the islands. And um, this year, a lot of people in Puff has been working hard to arrange this, especially these two ladies here, Daniela and Anna Lena. And uh, so it's really their uh, effort that has built this summit today. Uh, it's really fun to stand here watching you, because in your faces there is a little bit of skepticism, a little bit of engagement, some curiosity. And that's fun to watch you. And it's also fun because uh, I feel it mirroring me. And now should I switch a little bit here? Um, And um, the, the mirroring was something that we were talking about two years ago. Uh, we were talking about how can mirroring behaviors towards the gamblers help them to make the right choices in their gambling behaviors. And that's something that we have tested during the last two years. Uh, Daniela will be back. It's a little bit amazing uh, the results that we have seen just in mirroring behaviors mirroring how much they spend how long the time they spent on site and so on showing that in graphs back to the players really helped them to make decisions towards a more sustainable behavior and um, Daniela, I think, will talk a little bit more about that later on. Uh, another thing that was the base two years ago, and it still is, that is, we want transparency and openness. We want collaboration. Uh, because um, without it, we will continue struggling with the biggest hinder for our industry, and that's the, the stamp that we have gotten, that we are shady, uh, we are really not trustworthy, and so on. And every player is really in the danger of becoming an uh, addict. And we all in the industry know that's not true. But we need to help those in danger of getting into problematic behaviors to stay out of it. Uh, but this is really one of the biggest uh, flaws that we have in the industry. And that's why it's so important that we openly work together to move the industry. Uh, one of the biggest costs in the, this industry, that's acquiring customers. The only way to keep customers for a long time, that is, giving them good experiences on for individuals sustainable levels. And those levels vary. The expectations that the customers have 
on the experience of money gambling or money games vary. So there is no one solution fits all. It has to be differentiated, as in all industries. And this is something that I hope that we openly can discuss during this day and find common ground how we can help each other, really, to help the customers into long-lasting, sustainable relationships with the operators. And I think uh, we will be one of the first operators to bring in behavioral economics into the area of responsible gaming. Uh, Silek Rykov, and where are you? There? Hi. Uh, Sile will introduce us into how nudging and behavioral economics can be used in helping customers into sustainable gambling. Uh, and this has not been done before. You know, there are some guys getting Nobel Prizes for behavioral economics and so on. Uh, we do not do this to get Nobel Prizes, or do we? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Sille, not Puff. Uh, we do it really to improve business. We think, as I said two years ago, we think responsible gaming is a business decision. It's better business. And that's why we invest in getting better and better in responsibility. And then one of the buzzwords of contem contemporary digital business is customer journey. You hear it all over. And also in Puff, uh, a couple of years back, we saw the customer journey. That's the fun experience for the customer. And then we have to work with responsible gaming also. Now we try to move in responsible gaming into the nor normal customer journey. It shouldn't be, I play and then I think responsibility. It has to be included in, into the normal customer journey. So that's the aim for us, really to integrate responsibility into the gambling experience. And with that, I hope that you all choose to be open today, that you choose to be transparent. I don't think responsibility is anything to compete with. It's really 100% into responsibility for all of us that will help the industry. So be transparent today and have fun. And that's all from me. <laughs>